So let me begin by saying that SOE restructuring reform divestiture is never easy. And it's never easy because when you have um, industries or enterprises that have been operating in a particular way for a number of years, they have created their own ecosystem of how things are being done. And then reform in this area really means that you are going to be changing the way things are done. So people have to adjust and that takes time. It is important to take the time to get all the stakeholders on board so that there is the ownership in the actual changes that will occur. I see a lot of reasons to be optimistic about the outlook for SOE reform in Sri Lanka and particularly in sectors where uh, the Sri Lankan government will be going to the international market to find potential investors. And international investors first begin from the overall macro story. They first begin to see if a country is in default, how is it doing in terms of its progress towards getting out of default and concluding a deal with its creditors. And I think there, as Dr. Indraji mentioned, and also as the governor mentioned earlier this morning, there are good grounds to be optimistic about it because progress is being made. You know, several months ago, people were all talking about whether the needed financing assurances would come from all the official creditors. Some had given earlier than others, but they all came and the board meeting happened. And a fund mission is coming, as I understand it, to Sri Lanka as well. So the first thing is maintaining this progress at the level of the progress on debt restructuring, on which, as I mentioned, good grounds to be optimistic. That sets the color, the prism, or the lens through which international investors look at potential opportunities in a country. I think the second is uh, organizing the process within the country regarding state-owned enterprise reform. In my view, there is being good progress that is being made. Um, and I think it has also been very helpful that there is consultation with the relevant stakeholders so that there is ownership. And one thing I can say from my experience in other countries is that communication around the goals of state-owned enterprise reform to all the stakeholders, whether it is the employees of the organizations, whether it is the public in, at large, whether it is stakeholders in the government, is a very important part of that process. And um, if it means repeating some of the messages that is also helpful because you are really endeavoring to change a mindset. But it's important to take everybody along and that helps to generate ownership and to ensure that once those divestiture reforms are done, that they will deliver on the intended benefits. Yeah.